بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا وحبيب قلوبنا محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد My dear brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I would like to congratulate you all on the onset of the onset of the holy month of Rajab that will begin tomorrow, inshallah, Saturday, will be Rajab 1st. It is one of the uh, three holiest months in the lunar calendar, Rajab. Dhul uh, Qa'da, uh, Dhul uh, Hijjah, and Muharram. In Islam, those are considered the most holiest one. Of course, we have Ramadan. Is, it's holier than them all, but in a different sense. Inshallah, I will talk in one night about the significance of those holy four months of Rajab, the Qa'da, the Hijjah, and Muharram. And what does it mean to say they are holy? <clears throat> the month of Rajab precedes Ramadan by one month. So we have Rajab, then we have Sha'ban, and then we have Ramadan. So Sha'ban separates between the month of Rajab and the month of Ramadan. In the month of Rajab, there are many events. The first event occurs in the first day of Rajab, meaning tomorrow, and it is the birth of our <coughs> fifth Imam, Al Imam Muhammad al Baqir. We have 12 Imams. So our fifth Imam, Al Imam Muhammad al Baqir, whose father is Imam Zain al-Abidin, whose son is Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq, alayhim as-salam. Imam Muhammad al-Baqir was born in such a day, in uh, first of Rajab, of year 57 Hijri. Hijri, now, what is this year? This year is 1437. Ya Allah. Inshallah, no one got hurt. Okay. Just imagine the water. The water. As long as no one got hurt, so do another salawat. Alhamdulillah. They say a guy. Uh, his wife heard a noise, big noise, on the second floor. And she went hurriedly uh, upstairs to see what's going on. And she asked her husband, what was that noise for? He told her that uh, my pants fell down. She says, your pants? Your pants doesn't make that much noise. He says, because I was in it. So, alhamdulillah, no one was in that uh, uh, accident. No one got hurt in that accident. So, Imam Muhammad al-Baqir, alayhi salam, was born Rajab first. And the name Muhammad, you know, every imam has a name and a title. Every one of our 12 imams. So, his name is Muhammad. His title is al-Baqir. We believe that the Imam was named by the Prophet himself. All our Imams were named by the Prophet. Their name and their title. So Muhammad is obviously what it means. He was named after Prophet Muhammad. Sallu alayhi wa ala aswatikum. And the title Al-Baqir means the exploder. The word Baqir means the exploder. The one who exploded knowledge, the one who was revolutionary in bringing a new, uh, a new era of knowledge and Islamic education. And Imam al-Baqir was known to be the first official, formal professor giving lessons at the Masjid of the Prophet. Now you know. In Islam, 
our learning centers our learning centers are not like the west in the west you have a church you have a university in the early history of islam the learning centers were combined with our worship centers meaning our own mosques have been turned into learning centers so the masjid of the prophet was the first learning center the first university in islam the masjid of the prophet in medina Al imam muhammad al-baqir was the first formal professor giving jurisprudence classes in the masjid al-rasul meaning before him others may have given classes but informally the imam our imam muhammad al-baqir was the first to have a formal position of teaching in the masjid al-rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi he had many students among them is abu hanifa the head of the hanafi school of thought remember abu hanifa studied with Imam Jafar Sadiq as well, Imam Baqir's son. But his first teacher was Imam Al Baqir before Imam Al Sadiq. Ibn Juraj, Al Awza'i. Al Awza'i, just for your knowledge, if you go to Beirut, there are many streets in Beirut are named after Al Awza'i. He is a well known jurist. Why there are many streets? and landmarks in Lebanon named after him. Any clue? Actually, there's a university in Beirut called Kulliyat al-Imam al-Awza'i. Any clue why? Because he's Lebanese. Al-Imam al-Awza'i is Lebanese. He's from Lebanon. At that time, Lebanon was not called Lebanon. It was called what? Bilad al-Sham. So he came from Lebanon to Medina to study at the Masjid al-Rasul and the Imam, Imam Muhammad al-Baqir, was his first teacher. So the Imam, alayhi salam, was the first professor of that university. If you read the biography of Imam Muhammad al-Baqir, it's a unique personality. He was named by his grandfather. History tells us that the last surviving companion of the Prophet, keep that in mind, always, this is good public information for you. Who is the last surviving companion of the Prophet? The Prophet had how many, any clue, how many companions? Any clue, any number? Yes. Huh? Okay, but what number? Any clue? How many companions? Okay, just make a wild guess. Huh? Twelve? Twenty thousand? No. 120,000? No. The formal number of the companions of the Prophet is estimated between 6,000 to 12,000. 6,000 to 12,000 people who are known to be the companions of the Prophet. I'm not talking about the family of the Prophet. Don't confuse the two. The Imams are 12. We're not talking about the Imams. The infallible imams we're talking about the companions of the prophet those who saw the prophet and they listened to his hadith and basically they sat with him they listened to him they basically witnessed the prophet firsthand so the last one the last surviving companion is a companion named jabir ibn abdullah al-ansari he was a very honorable man a knowledgeable man and a pious man Jabir during the time of the Prophet was very young he may he may be in his 20s and he lived for almost 70 years after the Prophet so he died while he is in his 90s so during his last days before he dies he used to sit at the masjid, Prophet Masjid in Medina, and he would say, where are you, Baqir? Where are you, Baqir? Some people thought he is, he might be hallucinating. He may have Alzheimer. 
And some people would approach him and would ask him, why are you saying this? What is this name you're mentioning frequently? He says, because the prophet told me that I will not die till I see a grandson of his who's named Al-Baqar. One day, Jabir, the companion, was walking in the street of Medina, in the small alleys of Medina. He saw a bunch of kids playing. And among them, there was a very distinguished kid, very brilliant, with a holy looking, with beautiful face, and well-mannered, very well-mannered, polite child, five-year-old child. He draw his attention, Jabber's attention. Jabber says, he was very sharp. I went after him, and I said to him, who are you? What is your name? He told me, I am Muhammad, the son of Ali, the son of Al Hussein, the son of Ali ibn Abi Talib. I said, What a beautiful name and what a beautiful lineage. Muhammad, the son of Zain al Abidin, the son of Hussein, Imam Hussein, the son of Ali ibn Abi Talib. He's five years old. I said, You are Muhammad. He says, Yes, I am Muhammad. Jabir says, I told him, I am carrying a special salam to you from your grandfather, the Prophet, who told me, Ya Jabir, you will live enough, you will live long, till you meet a grandson of mine, whose first name is mine, and his title is Al-Baqir. So if you see him, the Prophet is saying, if you see him, deliver my special salam to him. So Jabir says, I'm telling this to Muhammad al-Baqir that your grandfather, Rasulullah, is sending you a salam through me. He told me I will be living long enough till I meet you and I shall deliver the salam. So he says, Imam Muhammad al-Baqir looked down and he says, Ala jaddi wa alayka salam. Upon my grandfather, on you and on you, the salam, the peace. Then, Al-Imam Muhammad al-Baqir became the leader after his father, Al-Imam Zain al abidin He was 55 years old when he died. And of course, he passed the, the baton of leadership to his son, Al-Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq, another pioneer in the Islamic Renaissance time. My dear brothers and sisters, I was going to speak dedicate my whole presentation tonight on Imam Muhammad al-Baqir alayhi salam. 